Hey guys, it's Jessie V. It's V time. V time the opera. That was just beautiful, wasn't it? Encore. Encore. So uh, many of you know that I took ballet class for 14 years. That's a long time. Yes, I used to be a graceful ballerina. Can't you tell? No, but seriously, I had ballet classes all week back then. My entire life was ballet. It's like I couldn't even walk down the street without prancing and doing twirls. I kind of felt bad for my parents though because all day they would be in the waiting rooms while I was in ballet class. My dad always used to play this snake game on his phone to pass the time back in the day when everybody had huge flip phones. The games were basically pixels. My sister also took dance classes. She hated ballet though so she took like jazz and tap. This one time I tried acro which is like a mix of gymnastics and dance. My parents did not realize that when putting me in that acro class I could not do any sort of gymnastics. I couldn't do a cartwheel, a handstand, a backflip, a back arch. I couldn't do any of that stuff. Nothing. Nada. Every time I tried, it was like a trip to the hospital. The only thing I could do was a somersault. That's it. So every time we had dance recitals, you could always spot me because I would be the one doing somersaults on the stage while everybody else around me was pulling a Cirque du Soleil. They were all flipping around everywhere and I was doing somersaults. It was embarrassing, okay? I don't like to talk about it. Have you ever seen that video of the bear doing somersaults down a hill? That was basically me. But anyways, let's get back to the ballet. Like the title of this video suggests, I was attacked by a girl in my ballet class named Hannah. From the moment I met her, I knew she was a strange one. And like I've said before, I like strange and weird people, okay? But there's good strange and then there's creepy slash bad strange. Never mix them up. That's like the number one rule of strangeness. The first conversation I ever had with this girl, she told me that she wasn't from Earth. Like she believed she was actually an alien. At first I laughed because any reasonable person would assume that she was joking, but she didn't laugh. No, she stared at me completely serious. She thought she belonged on another planet. She was literally out of this world. See what I did there? So for about a year, this girl and I became somewhat friends. We didn't really hang out outside of ballet class. I did invite her to a birthday party of mine though. But aside from that, we were just dance class friends. This one time she hid my ballet shoes somewhere in the dance studio and she told me to go find them. I was like, no, I am not a dog. You can't just throw my ballet shoes somewhere and tell me to go fetch them. Like she did not want to tell me where she put them. Class was about to start and I was still looking for my shoes. She still would not tell me where where they were so I had to go and tell my ballet teacher because I mean I had to dance there's no such thing as barefoot ballet like imagine a full ballet class with everybody barefoot the place would smell like you've never smelt a stink before like Mr. Krabs likes to say I smell a smelly smell that smells smelly that was an old episode by the way if you remember that high five through the screen go yeah! So this teacher finds my ballet shoes. Guess where they were? Just, just guess. This girl, she had stuffed them in the vending machine. Like, out of all places, the vending machine. She opened the flap and just shoved my ballet shoes in there. Like, what if someone had gone to buy a chocolate bar and when they went to take it out, they think they've won ballet shoes with it or something. It would be their lucky day. They'd be like, look mom, a chocolate bar and ballet shoes. We should go buy a lottery ticket. So let me get to the part where she attacks me because it's it's rather interesting. Not at the time, but looking back at it now, I thought it would make for a good V time. So this particular day, I was just hanging out in the change room getting ready for ballet class. I usually put my hair up in a bun. I got into my ballet leotard and my tights. So Hannah walks in and just glares at me. She looks so angry. I kind of just ignored at first because this wasn't an unusual expression for her. So I'm leaning over, putting on one of my ballet shoes, and when I lean back up, she is standing right in front of me. It, it would be like one of those jump scares from a horror movie. She's just standing there with her arms crossed over her chest. It looked like smoke could come out of her ears at any point in time now. That's how furious she appeared. Like somebody call the farmer, the bull has just escaped its pen. So we stand there looking at each other for a couple seconds, and then she says, Why would you tell on me the other day? We were playing a simple game of hide and 
seek. This girl was still hung up on the time she hid my ballet shoes and I had to tell the teacher. I was like, Hannah, class was about to start and you wouldn't tell me where they were. Then she got this close to my face and says, you shouldn't have done that. I actually thought her eyeballs were about to pop out of her head. Just, just hit me in the face with them. Boom, boom. She actually lost her jelly beans. She picks up a high heeled shoe from the floor, swings it around for a second, and then smacks me in the forehead with it. Right in the forehead. She pulled a David and Goliath. And then she takes a few steps back and full speed runs right at me and knocks me over. She just pounces on me. Every one of the change room is just gathering around us. They were all in a circle. It was circle time. I had no idea how to fight, so I was just kind of lying on the change room floor screaming and throwing my hands around. Finally, someone decent pulls her off of me and I start to cry. I mean, you gotta expect the tears were gonna come at some point. I was just crying and wailing. I sounded like Dory trying to imitate a whale. And I did what most little kids do. I ran to my mom, who was in the waiting room talking to Hannah's mom. I told her what happened and she saw the giant red bruise on my forehead. My mom turns to Hannah's mom and says, did you see what your daughter just did to my daughter? And do you know what Hannah's mom says? This will blow your mind. She says, yeah, she does that sometimes. Like, what? What? You're not gonna discipline your daughter? Even just a little bit and tell her it's not okay to attack someone? I mean, maybe it's normal on the planet Hannah says they're from, but not on Earth. Let's just say Hannah and I were no longer friends after that. She still gave me like death stares every single ballet class, but I tried to stay away. I was like, I am gonna stand over here. This is my octopus arms. Anyways, guys, that is the end of V time for today. I thought it was kind of a funny story to tell you from my childhood. My dad and I were actually just talking about it the other day. It's kind of funny to think about now. Anyways, as usual, my social media information is in the description, along with my vlog channel link and the link to get tickets for my Toronto meet and greet, which is coming up in like a week. Anyways, guys, have a great day and until next time, bye.